Hey everybody, would you look at that? Some lovely herbs. I got some from a friend of mine. I bought some seeds and I bought some plants right here. So, hey, stick with me. I'm gonna be planting my herb garden today. Adding some manure, stay with me. Hey, forgot to tell you, I did a bed of straw first over my cardboard. Then I added a nice hunking uh, level of manure, which you just saw. Finally, I'm putting in my topsoil. Bought it at Lowe's, pretty cheap, good quality. Rock, don't want that. So, you know, we all like our food, we like our vegetables, we want it to taste good. So, I wanted to plant a nice herb garden. In a second, after I level everything out, I'll show you what I'm planting, where I'm planting it, and just give you some reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. I also, while I'm doing this, I'd like to give a shout out to Matt. He's known as the Allotment Gardener from the UK. I uh, really, really, really have enjoyed his uh, channel because he, like me, just a regular guy out there every weekend or whenever he has time, goes to his allotment, works on his garden, and slowly improving it. And uh, so, shout out to you, Matt. Love your channel. I know I've appreciated the comments that you and I have shared. Um, keep up the good work. I appreciate you giving me some encouragement as well. So stick with us. Next, I'll lay out the uh, where everything's going to be, and then we'll go from there. So hold on a second. Okay, everyone. I've laid out where I'm going to put everything. I'll tell you what I put it there, and then we'll I'll plant it, water it, and I should be done. So hey, thanks for sticking with me. Here we go. So over here, I have two plots, four by four. I know some of these are going to spread. Like in the back right there, I have the rosemary. To my left, I have dill. Now I'm going to plant the dill. Dill grows pretty high, pretty tall. I use that for my pickles. In the middle, I have basil. And then I'm going to do some thyme here in the front. And then I have some tarragon. Now I got a tarragon root from a friend of mine, as well as some of these bigger plants. I got this from a friend of mine as well. So they should be in pretty good shape. But to enhance the tarragon, I also got some seeds. Over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oregano in a separate container. Now this, this metal pot all has a hole in the bottom, uh, so the water will drain out. It'll be okay. But I'm keeping the oregano by itself because oregano can spread pretty rapidly like a weed um, and overtake other herbs. I've had that happen to me in the past, and my, it's uh, happened to my friend as well. Um, up here she gave me some savory. I got some sage in the back. In the middle here I have some lemon thyme she gave me. I've never had that before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I have some marjagorum and some parsley, and up here in the front I have some cilantro. So, and then over here on the left, now it doesn't look very good, but the, the roots are in there as well. Uh, that's going to be my mint. Now mint, again, people who've grown it, it can be a pain in the butt. It grows like a weed as well, so I'm keeping it separate in this pot. And now I know you can see my rhubarb is already growing in here. But the rhubarb stock is actually going to be taken out at some point in the near future and moved to another location. So I'm just going to uh, put them in together. So, all right, stick with me. Next shot will be me uh, finishing up planting these guys and then uh, watering them, and I should be good. So thanks for watching. Hang in there. All right, everybody. So I'm finishing up here. Um, I'm finishing. This is my last one. This is parsley. Uh, I just, you know, I'd like to give a shout-out, like I said, to Matt, who... Uh, I really enjoy his channel. If you're not watching Justin Rhodes or Sean James Cameron or Art and Breathe, those are some other um, sites that I really enjoy. I'll put some links to the in the description box for those folks. But really check out Matt. He's a new YouTuber just like me. Um, and my friend Sarah, I greatly appreciate her giving me some of these cuttings that she had. But uh, there's also one other person I'd like to uh, give a shout out to is a guy named Jason Paul. He's from Ohio. Um, I've never met him before, but we're Facebook friends. When I was in Bosnia, um, the guy who replaced me told me about Jason, and Jason's into gardening and bees, and, well, he wants to get into bees, so I know you made a comment on that last movie, or uh, last video, so, Jason, get some bees. You really like them. They're rewarding. Uh, but if you live in Ohio, look him up. Um, he's starting some uh, commercial gardening in his backyard, I'm assuming. I've never met him. Seems like a pretty nice guy. Uh, but if you're out, if you guys are watching my videos, it means you're interested in gardening in some way, or homesteading or something, get out. Do it. I mean... Look at me, my hands are dirty. I'm having a great time. The sun's at my back. Life is good. So stick with me. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably uh, be planting my artichokes 
um, or do a, a bean experiment I've been doing with my son for his Boy Scouts, and we're going to check to see how many it grew. Um, after that, uh, Thursday night, I'm going to be doing two videos from now. I'll probably be doing a video on swarm traps I've never done before. I'm going to try it. Uh, one of the women I met down at the at Justin Rhodes' uh, get-together, a woman named Kim, she doesn't live too far from me, she wants bees on our property, so I'm going to try to do some swarm traps on her property. So, but guys, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I just need to water these guys, and I'm done with my herb garden. In a few months or in a few weeks or whenever I do a nice roasted chicken, I can get some rosemary or some sage or make up soup. I got a place to go with fresh herb instead of the dried stuff you get out of a can. All right? So thanks again. Take care. Have a good night. <laughs>